new player on the field. Hello. She's going all the way. Ooh, stopped short of the end zone. I don't think anybody told you this, but I'm engaged. It's not a crime. More action on the new series, The Street, Fox Fall. You know, some pictures just say, I'm a lineman, and that Jay Lundberg is a lineman and proud of it. You know, most guys try to cool off by, you know, ice. Linemen lift their shirts, let their guts hang out. That stomach needs air. Michael Bates <laughs> on the return. He has been a weapon for the Panthers today. Unfortunately, a penalty nullified one of his big runs. That was a 25-yard return. Timeout. We'll be right back. to the same B-School. All had bright ideas. Each started his own business the same year. So why is one company going global while the others are just getting going? Some people already know our financial representatives excel at a lot more than life insurance. Northwestern Mutual Financial Network. Are you there yet? I spent $41,000 on a luxury car. Oh. I spent $58,000 on a luxury mm. car. I spent $24,000. V6, heated leather seats, CD. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just here to pick up Linda. Saturn L Series, huh? The Saturn L Series performance sedan. I gotta get a couple of these. If you thought being a student was hard, try being a teacher. I heard some students giggling in the corridor. I could tell it was at my expense, so I went online. Just look. Oh, come on. The bad part is coming. From the creator of Ally McBeal and The Practice, Boston Public, Fox Fall. 4.47 remaining in the fourth. The Redskins leading by 10 after trailing at the half. And a first down on their 35-yard line for the Panthers. And the handoff to Brand Hoover, an undrafted rookie from Western Carolina with his first NFL carry. Well, let's uh, bring you up to date. The only score, touchdown, by the Panthers was Michael Bates' 92-yard kickoff return in the first quarter. Brad Johnson having a brilliant game through the air. Stephen Davis, 130 total yards and a touchdown. But the Redskin defense... Especially the linemen with six sacks, all told. And uh, right now, the Redskins are signaling that Clarence Jones might have uh, flinched. And he did. And that's number four on Jones. All star, 75, offense. He has Bruce Smithitis. That's the inflammation of the Bruce when he's out there. <laughs> when he's out there, see that just that little bit of movement, and they're going to call it every time. And you don't have to move. At, at, just just twitch, and Smith's going to jump on you. Clarence Jones having a rough time, and who, who can blame him going against uh, one of the greats? Second and eight. I guess Seifert could blame him. Pass incomplete. Walls, the intended receiver, bringing up third and eight. So at one point, the Panthers led 10-7. to seven. That was at halftime, and the Redskins in the second half have scored 13 unanswered points. And in this quarter... The Panthers are minus yardage. And a big day for the defense, led by that man, Ray Rhodes, who was a head coach last year in Philadelphia and the year before in Green Bay. Third and eight, Burline, pass, incomplete, flag is down, Matt Stevens is trying to cover Walls. And if it goes against the Redskins, and it seemingly will, it'll result in a Panther first down. 
Number 23, defense. First down. Yeah, he got there just before the ball got there on Walls. Walls had the right position and got between himself and the, the defender and the quarterback. The ball came down. There it was. You're going to watch right there. He hit him right before he got there. Even the left hand, it was the contact prior to that. First and 10 at the 48-yard line of the Redskins. And here's Hetherington. And a yard is all. And Bruce Smith gets up. That's a heck of a play by Bruce Smith because they were going to try to run the trap back underneath him. You're going to watch him. He comes off the ball, takes care of his guy, and then Terry, 70, tries to get around him, and he forces it back in and still makes the tackle along with Kennard Lang. That's a good play. Bringing up second down and nine for the Panthers, who trail by two scores. And they give the ball to Tamanga Biakabatuka. And you wonder whether Ray Rhodes may get a game ball if uh, the Redskins uh, win in this fashion. Their defense, that time Dana Stubblefield, Making the big play off the run, and that'll bring up third and long for the Panthers. Remember, the Panthers lost a timeout when they made a challenge. Here in the second half. Third down and eight. And here is Muhammad, and he is stuck by Champ Bailey. For no gain. Maybe a yard, but fourth down coming up for Carolina. Panthers going to have to go for it. They're going to have to stay right here. I don't understand this one. This is nicely played by Champ Bailey, but what they did, what the Redskins did, was they just zoned it off, and they had Champ Bailey just hold to the outside because they had that bunch cover, that bunch package. So you have to let it define itself first, and then you just come off. It was well played, but I missed that one by the Panthers. Fourth down and six. And it's all here for the Panthers if they want to stay alive in this game. Burline's pass is caught by Donald Hayes. And the big guy gets inside the 20-yard line. A pickup of 26 yards. The tackle by Carrier, but George Seifert's Panthers are still in business as we get down to the two-minute warning. The Redskins up by 10. Fox NFL Sunday is brought to you by Energizer E Squared, the battery with a heart of titanium. from Energizer, a whole new battery with a heart of titanium that lets you take power to the next level. E squared. See, I told you this would work. Good call, Dave. Excellent venue. Who do you think's getting married anywhere? Guys, someone's coming. Hi. Hi. How are you Hi. doing? Are you here with the bride or the groom? The groom. Bride. bride. <laughs> nice to meet you. Guys, I think they're on to us. <laughs> hey, I think they're on to us. Having one on the house? Grab a Miller Light. It's Miller time. Uh, <laughs> coming. Yeah. <laughs> to catch America's most wanted, the FBI has enlisted the services of America's most confused. Uh, no. Y yes, sir. Well, it depends on what you. Do. On September 15th, Jamie Foxx is plugged in. Put him on the street. Make it known he knows where the gold is. I guarantee that our gold thief will show up. And turned on. How's your headache, though? What headache? Rated R starts September 15th. Hey, this was a great call. This is really well conceived. They're going to fake this way and bring back Berlin. They're going to try to attempt to bring the defense this way. The inside receiver, he's responsible to draw coverage. Champ Bailey gets a little shallow. This safety pulls too hard, and Hayes come back inside and a big, big play. 
Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. First down on the 20 of the Redskins. Burline with play action. And this pass is caught by Walls, and he's in for the touchdown. Wesley Walls, on the first play after the two-minute warning, goes in for 20 yards after Sam Shade had missed Walls, and the Panthers can climb to within three. What a... Two plays, Dick, and we got a completely different game. And the fourth call, fourth down call was a monster. And this one again. Fake one side, come back the other way. Burline does a good job of selling it. And then watch Wesley Walls. Keeps his feet inbound, thrown by six. And Richie Cunningham in what is a critical extra point right here. And the kick is good. And remember, he missed one earlier in the game that would have had this thing tied right now. So a... Touchdown pass to Wesley Walls, old reliable as a tight end, and the Carolina Panthers now trail by only three points with 152 to go in the fourth. That fourth down play was just, that's a hellacious call. That's a great call by, by Bill Musgrave. And then Burline putting the ball back in his hands, selling it one way and then coming back. You know, at the start of the game, we said a couple things. We said that the players from the Redskins that they acquired just had to play and do what they had to do. And, and, and that happened because Bruce Smith, the acquisitions, played well. Deion Sanders has played well. And uh, Johnson's played well. Stephen Davis. And then we also said that Steve Berline, he had to carry the torch for them. And he has done that. Although it's not been a real consistent day all the way through, he's been beat up. But he stayed in it. And then some great calls by Musgrave and Burline with the execution. And it's big. There's a scoring drive, and it's the first touchdown other than the special teams kickoff return by Michael Bates. So the Panthers trailing by three, and this is nothing unusual. And they line up for an onside kick. Panthers yeah. have two timeouts remaining. You see that red line down there? That's, that's for how far the ball has to go beyond for it to be a kick to be recovered by the kicking team. You have to have 10 yards. And there it is, the onside kick. And the Redskins seem to fall on it. LeVar Arrington may be at the bottom of that pile. And uh, if he is, Redskins will have the ball in Panther territory. Nervin Fryer, I believe 86, was also down there. And it was Irvin. This is that big play on fourth down. Here's the key. Here and here. This You're trying to draw it back this way, and then he's the recipient of his work. Because you draw the coverage, Berline is able. That's a that's a monster play. And George Seifert, who's still got the greatest body language, maybe, of any NFL coach of all time. He's got great body language. <laughs> Doesn't mean much, but he does have the language. He can do the bossa nova, I think. Uh, they say Leave it that. on the bossa nova. <laughs> Meanwhile, Irving Fryer came out of the game limping, and they're working on him. On the bench, first and ten for the Redskins, and here is Stephen Davis. And saving the touchdown is Mike Minter. Dick, another trap. John Jansen, the kick out on Lee Woodall. Bang, right up inside. And that's, uh, that should seal it today to buck 30. 33-yard burst by Stephen Davis. Watch Jansen. He's right here. He's coming this way. Nicely done there. Oh, Chris Samuels, beautiful. Both those young tackles played very well today. Got him into that second level. One thing he... He'll finish the run, but Minner had better speed than him. Great 77, Trey Johnson has to be happy with that. And Stephen Davis running up the middle. Well, Trey Johnson will be glad to get back in action next week when the Redskins play at Detroit. Interesting that the Panthers went for the onside kick because of the great respect they have for the Redskins offense. Even though they had two timeouts to use, they knew that the Redskins had the ability to get a first down. So they had to do the only thing they could do. I mean, you had to do that. I think the biggest thing today, though, Dick, in this game is the offensive line of the Washington Redskins. Look at this. This is a monster. No sacks. I'm very little pressure. And you have the rookie starting up there. Fisher in his first game ever. Jay Lewenberg starting today. Jansen played well. Sims played well. 
And the old headbanger there, 77, he's he's got to be pleased with his compatriots. And they're going to take the knee. And on the other side, you got the defensive line by the Redskins getting six sacks and putting constant pressure on Steve Berline. And to no one's surprise, a Redskin Panther game ends decided by three points. Redskins have won all five meetings. And four of them have been decided by a field goal as Stephen Davis with a big day and a new contract, 23 carries, 133 yards, and a touchdown as the Redskins start out with a win, beating the Carolina Panthers 20-17. to And we'll be back here in just a moment as the Redskins down the Panthers in the opener. A close one, but the Redskins beat the Panthers 20 to 17, and this play of the day is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Vote for the play of the day by logging on to FoxSports.com. You know, it's unfortunate that the play of the day comes down to a penalty. Mason 53 gets blocked there, and then the push that they called in the back, which wasn't really, I mean, it was a push to the side, and what that did was it nullified an 88-yard kickoff return by Michael Bates that would have changed the complexion of this game. But I'll tell you what, this game, uh, you know, everyone thought the Redskins were, might, even in game one, run away and high. You get an indication of what they'll be like. Their newcomers, as you said, played well, but they got a battle on their hands today. They did, and they're going to continue, but you can see the makings of what they have, and, and one of the things is they're really tough to match up against in the passing game. With those three corners, Champ Bailey, Deion Sanders, and Darrell Green, they can match up with anybody in this league. So the Redskins, who lost to the Cowboys in overtime a year ago in their opener here, start out with a victory beating Carolina to go 1-0. Want to remind you that uh, coming up, the Auto Trader postgame report, J.B., Terry, Howie, and Chris will have scores from around the league, and the Fox Sports ticker will have up to the second stats. That's all coming up next on the postgame report. Well, yep. one other thing that impressed me today was the play of the offensive line of the Washington Redskins, and in particular, two young tackles, John Jansen at the right side and Chris Samuels on the left side, who really, he's, they're going to be fun to watch. Now, it's certainly, they're, they're going to make their mistakes, and they're going to be beat, but, uh, boy, they have the makings of two excellent tackles here. Well, Bruce Smith still has plenty in his gas tank. He proved that today. Six sacks. Uh, Marco Coleman, the beneficiary, but Bruce Smith... Brilliant today, and Ray Rhodes has to really appreciate the Redskins' defensive effort. So this is Dick Stockton for Matt Millen and Pam Oliver saying so long from Washington. Once again, the final score, the Redskins 20, the Panthers 17. Be sure to stay tuned to Fox Sports for the Auto Trader postgame show with J.B., Terry, Howie, and Chris right after this message. For more information on today's game and the latest NFL news, log on to foxsports.com.